So in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to take a graph you've made in Microsoft Excel and paste it into Word and format it the proper way. So I've already got my graph here generated. I'm going to add in a couple of uh, axes and their titles. So title below the axis here. This is going to be my temperature in degrees Celsius as I've done before in a previous tutorial. And then here's my vertical axis rotated title. This will be glucose produced in milligrams per deciliter. Okay, so this is my graph. This is the way I want it. I'm going to make sure that it is highlighted on the outer edges with that blue, meaning that I've selected the entire chart or graph. I'm going to copy it by pressing Command C. And now I'm going to come over to my Word document. And I want to put it right between these two paragraphs. So I'm going to just hit return to put space there. I'm going to, only, going to paste it pressing command V. Okay, now my graph is in there. Let me go ahead and zoom out a little bit to show you what I'm working with. Okay. All right. Sorry about that. There we go. That'll work. Okay. So right now it's running nicely in line, but let's say I start to shrink the size of this like that and I want to move it towards the center. Well, the way it, it currently is formatted, I can't move it. Because if I move it, it causes the text to wrap around it. Okay, what I prefer to do with these uh, graphs that I place into my Word documents from Excel is I prefer to first come over to the Format tab in the ribbon right next to Chart Layout. This will only appear if you've selected the chart and have that blue outline. And I like to go over here to Wrap Text and I choose to put this in front of the text. This makes it to where I can freely move the chart anywhere in the document and it will not have an effect on the placement of my text. What it does mean, however, though, is if you want your text to appear on the top or bottom of the chart, you're going to have to press return and move the text around that particular chart. So let me go ahead and move the chart up here. I'm going to come down here and move the text down and I'm going to move my chart just below this final part of the paragraph there. Okay. And then if I want to do an extra line like that, there we go. So I now have my chart placed pretty neatly in the center of my document, the text on top of it and below it. And now the only thing I need to do is add in that figure legend, which we did before with the table. And to do that, I'm just going to add in a text box. Again, I'm going to drag my text box like this. I'm going to title this figure one, determining optimal temperature of lactase. Okay, again to resize I'm gonna hold command as I drag down on the box to give me the smooth resizing and I'm also going to make this text box through formatting here. I'm going to make it sit in front of the text. So I'm gonna move this up smoothly holding command while I move it with the mouse until it is positioned right with my graph. I'll make it bold and I have my text box now with my graph. Okay, So I've got my graph from my Excel document now integrated and I've got a nice figure legend to go along with it and my text is above and below that. Okay, So that's all you need to do.